A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to work with multiple background images in CSS3. Yes, with CSS3 guys now we have the ability to have as the background more than one image. That's amazing. Let me dig inside my local site folder which is called images and show you an example. Guys, uh, I have a file here. It is multiple bg.html file wherein I have created a div and inside the div I have a uh, use three images bg bg1 and bg3 guys i've used these three images as the background let's see how i how it went let me open up this file multiple bg.html and guys as you can notice that uh, this is the first picture that i've tucked in the left top corner okay this is the second picture that i've tucked in the right top corner and the third picture out here was also tucked in the left top corner but since it was a little taller than the other two it can actually sh show through uh, through the bottom okay so one two and three three images used through CSS3 that's wonderful guys uh, let's now try to work on a new project uh, where we will create a similar effect okay so I'm gonna say create new HTML this is the code area guys and this is the <coughs> design view the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a div tag. So I'm going to say layout div tag. Then I'll give it a class. Uh, let's say a test class. And then I'm going to hit on the new CSS rule button and say OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm creating a div and attaching the dot test class to it. The next thing that I'll do is, guys, I will, mm, let's say, attach a background image which will be a fallback image now what is a fallback image guys a fallback image is one just in case uh, your browser is incompatible with multiple backgrounds then it will display this fallback image okay just in case so I'm creating a fallback image here usually this image won't show up all the three you know the images will be shown up through the multiple uh, background CSS uh, property but just in case this will come up next what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the box category and then define the size of the divs I'll keep it at 1200 uh, as the width and height I'll keep it at uh, 600 yeah. uh, 1200 by 600 and, and then I'm gonna say okay and okay once again guys what happens here is uh, that a div comes up the dimensions of which um, I'm gonna call the file test okay so a div uh, the dimensions of which are 1200 px by 600 px comes up on the screen but it still does not have the multiple images which will follow soon right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the code uh, view guys okay and then being uh, I'm gonna fetch the class called uh, test class where we have a background image this image will be used as the fallback image guys just in case the multiple backgrounds are not shown guys CSS3 is compatible with most uh, browsers the recent ones the recent versions okay but if you're using an older browser an older version an earlier version then the chances are that this image the fallback image will show through and not the actual uh, multiple images okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand code now now it's my turn to hand code and see how we can actually achieve the multiple images effect so I'm gonna say background and then I need to say um, <coughs> URL And then I need to specify the URL. We go like this: uh, bg. dot jpg is the first image, guys. I'm gonna close the brackets. Next, uh, next, I need to uh, tell the position. So the position is uh, top left. And then I need to specify whether I want my image to repeat or not. I'll say no repeat repeat beg your pardon all right then I need to put a comma not a semicolon guys very very important okay good 
next what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy line number 12 onto line number 13 and 14 but I'm going to change the background images now so for the top right I want a different image top right of the device I want a different image to come up and that will be bg1 dot jpg and as far as uh, the third multiple image is concerned it will be bg3 dot uh, jpg so guys this this image will get tucked in the top left corner bg1 jpg will get tucked in the right top corner okay and uh, the third one which is the tallest of them all will show will show through the bottom will show through the bottom bottom belt bottom area okay uh, but we need to put a semicolon in the end all right so let's test it and guys just in case any browser is not able to display the multiple backgrounds it will fall back to this image that's the way it works so uh, keeping my fingers crossed and uh, testing the code now so the first preview coming up in Chrome ah it failed something went wrong uh, there's something that didn't happen the way it should have let me check all right guys uh, I think I figured out what's wrong you don't need this extra space out here okay so I'm gonna get rid of this extra space here and here and here as well the preview in Chrome first okay here does it come up all right very good so this is the left uh, this is the first picture the second picture on the right and the third picture showing through the bottom belt all right so you have multiple backgrounds all very good let's check another preview in firefox shortcut key f12 one two three very nice and let's check up internet explorer now guys what happens in internet explorer is that um, since uh, i have ie8 it doesn't support uh, multiple images uh, it will fall back I think version 9 and 10 do support but at least version 8 does not so it will fall back to this image guys the bg3.jpg which is a taller one and it shows through the bottom so next uh, I've checked Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer I'll check I'll check it in uh, Opera very nice and in the end we have Safari all very good wonderful so guys here we are it's, it's a very easy uh, way to code it uh, there's not much to it it's supported uh, across most latest version of the browsers and uh, if it does not you can have a background image sometimes guys instead of the image you can use a background color as well but it's always a good idea to use a background image so guys um, I hope you like this tutorial learn something good useful I'll see you next time with yet another dream viewer tutorial or it could be flash with action script 3 you do do uh, take away good care of yourself bye bye ciao